Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Power number 11. <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat chakra this morning. So, power number 11, number 2, and number 8. Okay. Going to the power of number 21. So, 21 in tarot is the world card. So your person, Scorpio, is about ready to close out some kind of old karmic pattern or cycle so that a new phase can happen or they need to close out a cycle. Either it's going to happen for them or they wake up, they have this type of spiritual awakening and realize that they need to change their life. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio or possibly a Sagittarius born in the month of November. However, you could also be dealing with a Libra. Others of you might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Another group of you may be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Another group of you may be de dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. You could be 21, 22, or 28 years of age. And some of you could have been born in 1981 and or possibly 1982. So that's what's coming up in the power of the numbers. We could also see the justice card, the high priestess, the strength card, the magician, the hanged man card, and the moon card, and the world card. So power of number 21. Whether you have been in no contact or if this has been breadcrumb communication between you and your person, we may also see possibly what could be going on in their environment. And of course, naturally, if they are, you know, dealing with a third party situation. One. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? From Scorpio's person unto them, show me what's up. Mm. The Nine of Wands, you might be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person of yours is either at war with themselves or they're sitting on the fence. That tells me that they're having a hard time making a decision about something or someone in their life. So the Nine of Wands. In this deck with the Game of Thrones, it's the Nine of Spears, but. Yeah, there's a card that went flying. The card that went flying is the Ten of Swords. Your person is getting backstabbed and betrayed right now. Your person has guilt, remorse, regret over the connection or their past choices. You might be dealing with water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. World card, power of number 21. Power of the numbers. I'm hearing the song, should I stay or should I go? You might be dealing with one of the fixed signs of the Zodiac, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, possibly a Scorpio. There's some kind of embarrassment. I'm picking up because this is kitty corner. Like 
they may have embarrassment. If they're dealing with a third party, they may be embarrassed by this third party. And they're sitting on the fence. I mean, there's no happy, happy, joy, joy going on here. Something about the truth is going to get revealed to them. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords. You might be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. This could talk about a revelation or mental clarity. Closing out a cycle or some kind of public embarrassment. Power of number eight came up on the third roll of the dice, the strength card. Having the courage and the strength to start making some life's, like major life's choices here. To change, to change their environment, to change their circumstances, and to have the courage and the strength to come forward in regards to you. I do also feel that they could be spying in on you on some kind of social media platform, wondering what you're up to. The Eight of Pentacles. Something didn't work out in their favor because they're sitting on the fence and they have some kind of guilt, remorse, regret. You might also be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. I feel like they're thinking, what if I would have put more effort into the connection with Scorpio? Would I have had it all? Would my life have been different? They could also be working on a plan to close out that cycle with whatever is going on in their environment. They're on a verge of a change here. The Hierophant, you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Okay, some of them could also be in a higher level of commitment. They have guilt, remorse, regret over giving commitment to this other third party and not giving you the marriage or the higher level of commitment. I mean, not everybody wants marriage, but some of you guys saw this person get married to someone else. We got cheating going on, Seven of Swords. But they're also strategizing on how to get out of that marriage or that commitment. They're being cheated on. They're being cheated on by a third party. Yeah, I got secrets. High Priestess, bottom of the deck. You might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini coming back in through the Seven of Swords. This person of yours is not happy. They're not, they're not happy at all. King of Pentacles. All of their effort, all of their time, money, energy, investment into whoever they're entertaining feels to me it backfired on them because they've got some kind of unhappiness or sadness going on. They're playing a good game. They're really hiding their emotions. Magician. There's control, manipulation going on in their environment. But in their own way, they could also be trying to manifest to get out of this situation or conversing with someone. On what to do or seeking maybe some kind of advice or counsel temperance you could be dealing with a Sagittarius they're not at peace <clears throat> they're not at peace because of this 
Some of them went back to reconcile with an ex. <coughs> Excuse me. And all the while, some of you Scorpios are manifesting for your person to see the light. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I just feel like everything backfired on them. They're sitting on the fence with their choices. Like, how could have this have happened? I thought I was going off to something better because the connection between me and Scorpio was just too intense. It was just too good to be true. But they're unhappy. And they got karma on them right now. Aquarius energy coming in through the number 17. Healing, cleansing, renewal, reconciliation. They thought they were going to be healed in another relationship. Uh-uh. Yeah, you're the real deal, Scorpio. You're the real deal. They they moved on from the star. Some of you guys could be dealing with a celebrity. It all backfired. Coming back for reconciliation. Again, it goes back to when I was speaking on the King of Pentacles. Their time, money, energy, and investment has gone to waste. They thought they were going to collect better on this other connection. They're going to end up being single. Mm-hmm. A lot of you guys do not want this person back. I understand. But they're going to try to attempt to come back. Yep. People could end up clarifying the world card. People could end up seeking out information on what's going on with your person and this third party. But when they find out the truth that this third party had been given time and energy and maybe even money to another person, the deception is real. Again, like I said, if seek, seek an advice or counsel on what to do. Could be talking to a lawyer, divorce lawyer. Or somebody told them, somebody told them that they saw this third party sneaking around, caught them. Somebody got caught. Yep. I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. Miss you. Yeah, you guys do have a lot of things in common. I hurt myself by letting you go. Clarifying the Five of Cups. Mm-hmm. It all backfired. I'm lost and I don't know what to do. Hence another reason why they could be seeking advice or counsel. 
they feel stuck or trapped in that situation. Some of them will be, if they, if they don't wake up to this third party and the fact that they're not in a real soulmate connection, we're, we're still in this Saturn retrograde until uh, November 15th of 2024. Anybody who hasn't paid their karmic debt, planet Saturn's coming, is energetically coming after to get that debt um, claimed, that karmic debt. So there could end up being a lot of separation, splits, breakups, and divorces after the 15th of November. Until this person figures it all out. I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. Mm -hmm. Those feelings that they had for you, Scorpio, and they still have them. But they suppressed because it was too much. The connection between you and them was very intense. They're hurting right now. Maybe that makes some of you guys happy. They're, but they're wearing a false mask. They're wearing a false mask with people around them. Especially on social media. You know. But there is a higher level of commitment and there's just a lot of lies and deception going on. Is somebody, trusted ancestors, is somebody going to catch this karmic, again, cheating? Mm-hmm. I have a person here. Got the emperor. Could, this could be another third-party situation, or it's the person that could catch the karmic. Yep, somebody's going to be doing the walk of shame. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Cheating on the marriage. Mm -hmm. This karmic is going to get caught. Karmic is going to get caught. Tower moment. Karmic is going to get caught with another lover. There you are, Scorpio. The karmic could also be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio for some of them. Yep, spying. Page of Swords. Somebody's going to be in observation of this karmic. And then, then somebody's going to be crying over spilled milk. Only bringing back your person to the Five of Cups. Their choices got them in trouble. And an unhappy connection. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.